So it looks like we might not know for a while when Lonzo Ball will return to the court. He's going to be getting surgery on his left knee that he has had surgery on now three times in his young career. And the Bulls said he will be reevaluated in four to six weeks. Does not mean he'll play, but at the end of October, he'll be reevaluated. And this just sucks all around, especially because I am a huge Lonzo Ball fan. I am a huge fan of his game. I think any good team that picks up Lonzo Ball automatically gets better. And that was the case for the Bulls last year. He got left knee surgery in January, mid-January. And he was supposed to be sidelined for at least six weeks or six to eight weeks, if I remember correctly. And the pain just kept happening and he did not play in the playoffs. And there were reports that the knee soreness kept on persisting all summer. And now it's led to this, which really just stinks because Lonzo Ball was really good for the Bulls last year. I was actually recording a Bulls off-season preview before the Lonzo surgery news broke. And I had to basically scrap that because while, you know, it looked like Lonzo was going to keep dealing with the knee issues, we just didn't know if he was still going to be out or not. Now it looks like he's going to be out. It's just a big blow for the Bulls. He was an important piece for the Bulls last year. A lot of Bulls fans know I don't need to say it for them, but for those who did not watch the Bulls kind of have a resurgence last year and kind of exceed expectations, Lonzo Ball was a key piece for the Bulls. The best lineups involved Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso just being absolute hound dogs up and down the floor on the defensive end. The Bulls had really good lineup numbers with those two in the lineup, especially defensively. They were an elite defensive team when Lonzo and Alex Caruso shared the court together. And the Lonzo injury started what was a bunch of other injuries that happened to the Bulls and it kind of just unraveled in the playoffs. But Lonzo Ball kept improving. He changed his jump shot from when he first entered the league through the draft. He became a 40% three-point shooter this year, one of the best defenders in the NBA. Zach Levine was getting some awesome buckets, some highlight dunks in transition because Lonzo Ball is one of those guys that can fast forward a possession by just outletting the ball up the court the minute he gets the rebound. That's the other thing with Lonzo too. He's 6'6", a really good rebounder, a really awesome transition player, a really good connective passer and he was somebody that was just key for the Bulls in terms of greasing the wheels on offense, spacing the floor, just a smart basketball player and on the defensive end off ball he was a menace he had size too. Alex Caruso and Lonzo Ball just really destroyed guys on the defensive end of the floor. It's an unfortunate injury. I think the Bulls had a so-so offseason it wasn't bad but it's nothing to write home about either especially when you compare it to last offseason and in terms of their prospects I still have the Bulls as you know hovering around the seventh eighth seed which is now the play-in so it sounds worse when you say the Bulls are a play-in team but it's really not I think they are the seventh or eighth best team in the Eastern Conference in terms of seeding because I think the first six teams are pretty locked I mean the Celtics the Bucks the Sixers the Heat the Nets and the Cavs so that's already six non-play-in playoff seeds and you probably throw in the Bulls and the Raptors and the Hawks are all going to be scrapping that Eastern Conference is a monster and the Bulls Still have DeMar DeRozan, who had the best season of his career last year at the age of 32, was an MVP candidate in the early part of the season. Zach Levine, who was also dealing with knee troubles towards the end of the season, he got re-signed this offseason. I do like Dalen Terry, the kid out of Arizona who they drafted. Patrick Williams is going to have to have a big third year, and he has the makings of it. He's going to have to fill in for Lonzo, and he's going to have to take a big step up in terms of being one of those guys that can provide secondary offense outside of DeRozan, Levine, and Vucevic. And it's not just Patrick Williams. Io DeSumo is going to have to step up as well, and he was great for the Bulls last year. Made all-rookie team. I really liked Io DeSumo. 
was really efficient, really good three-point shooter, just a smart, grounded player. I really like his game as well. You still have bench pieces like Derek Jones Jr. who could provide, you know, some versatility and flexibility in terms of lineups on the defensive end as well. Javante Green. I do like the Andre Drummond and Tony Bradley pickups to back up Vucevic because there could be a case in the playoffs where Vucevic might be unplayable. By the way, it's the last year of Vucevic's contract, and that kind of hasn't really worked out for the Bulls in terms of the trade they did with the Magic in the 2020-21 season. So who knows if he'll get re-upped, but circling it all back to Lonzo Ball, I think what was really cool about the Bulls last year is not only did they exceed expectations, but they did have some pet lineups they could go to that kind of functioned as a curveball for teams like the Caruso, Lonzo Ball, DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, and Vucevic lineups. And now they don't have that, and they really don't have a player to fill in and do what Lonzo Ball does. Lonzo Ball has a very unique skill set. Not many players in the league have his particular set of skills, not to sound like Liam Neeson and Taken or some shit, but Lonzo Ball really is a singularly unique player, and the Bulls don't really quite have somebody on the roster to fill in for what he does. You're going to have to rely on a jump from Patrick Williams. You're going to have to rely on a jump from Io Desumu. You're going to have to hope Kobe White can, you know, take a jump as well. You're going to have to hope you hit on the Drummond and Bradley signings. Maybe Vucevic doesn't play like Greg Ostertag 2.0 for most of the season like he did last year. But the Lonzo injury sucks. It sucks for the player, the person, and he's only 25 years old and he already has three knee surgeries in his left knee. It's pretty concerning.